Hey YouTubers, this is My Urgent Videos. How's everyone doing? Well, I wanted to show you guys a nifty little gadget I made for the, for the drill press and also a sharpening tool. But anyways, I want to tell you a little, little story first. Um, back in the old days, uh, my dad never taught me much to do much uh, fabricating in the shop. It's been mostly uh, my own learning and hanging out with friends and neighbors and you know that kind of thing and that's how I, how I started uh, working in the shop. And basically I've uh, built stuff over the years that would help me uh, do stuff in the shop so anyways um, dear old dad didn't help me much figure this one out but uh, anyways also um, there's a guy on YouTube I forget his name now um, but he's an old drag racer kind of guy and uh, I'll post if I find the video I'll post up in my post it up here in my uh, video um, anyways this guy kind of made me think a lot about when I'm doing these little projects and this guy he's an old drag racer you know built it's building rat rods and stuff like that from you know basically from nothing scrap stuff anyways he had a little little line in his video where he says that he lived on a farm many years ago when he was a kid and when he had to make stuff on the farm they just made it out of whatever they had you know if they needed nuts and bolts they made it washers and stuff they made it on the farm because they were too far away from town and I'm in the situa I'm the same situation, kind of far from town to go all the way to town to get nuts and washers or something that's not even available on my hardware store. So, anyways, um, I had to make a vice because I'm actually making bushings up for my. Uh, uh, they're not quite finished yet, but I make some. I know they're off. I know they're off the center, but I can't do much about it right now. But these are bushings for the. Uh, let me machine that a little bit more. For the uh, for the arms on the back of the uh, uh, backhoe, these kind of bushings, right? So, anyways, um, have no vice, and I had to make something of my own. So, basically, I had to take these pieces, right, and I had to flat basically to the grinder, right on the bench grinder here, and flatten the uh, sides off so I could crimp them in here, right? Vice them together. And this is just a couple pieces of angle iron that are drilled. And I bolt them, of course, but then you have to add a little more torque with the uh, plier in the center to get everything nice and tight. So yeah, that that works works actually pretty slick. I wish I had uh, thought about that many years ago. But uh, with uh, round pipe, it's really hard to crimp, and it's pretty hard. I mean, you can't really <coughs> clamp it. It's just too hard to be. You can't. It's just a pain in the ass to crimp, tighten, right? So just flatten a couple sides on the on the. Uh, round stock and you're good to go and just put it in there and you know tighten up real good and the other problem I had <coughs> I had this nifty little thing here for sharpening drill bits which makes you real which makes you lazy and doesn't teach you much <laughs> anyways going back to uh, my old friend Ziggy there the story I just told you I used my noggin and I thought well I know the degree for the for the uh, for sharpening, it'd be this degree here. I think it's 59 or maybe less degree angle, maybe 45 or something. I figure what it is, but I these two bolts and stuck them together. I know that's I know that's the right angle from previous experience. Because if you look at, if you take like a half inch drill from hardware store. This is actually a cheater thing too. It's the right angle. So if you don't have a sharpening tool, sharpening machine, or no guide. It's a perfect guide. Get a couple of three quarter inch bolts, especially working with big drills. You get your angle. This would actually work with small drill bits too. You just have to get smaller bolts, right? But the angle is pretty much all the same. So make sure the tops of the uh, drills are flat. If they're rounded, it won't cut. Now, this is a little bit rounded here, but for heavy steel, you want them flat, almost flat anyway. A little bit rounded on the edges a little bit. But, anyways, that's a nifty little jig I made. And you know, when you're far from town, you have to make do with what you got, and these things will uh, make your fabricating go a little bit further. And anyways, that's that's another story. But anyways, uh, yeah. So anyways, fabricating the shop, doing stuff. Remember these, you know, for sharpening drill bits, a really good guide to get your angle. And if you want to make a nifty little handy little vice for your um, drill press make them out of that that way 
Very simple. Anyways, this is coming from the School of Hard Knocks. Okay, this is my Richard videos, and uh, this is uh, a little tip for you guys. Alright, thanks for watching, and bye for now.